And I can't do this fully because this working looking all right. It's gonna be up on this page again. All right, here we go. So this is as links I use. So. I use share the preview mode. Next, I don't want to install any of this because I can't do it when it's live, but um, choose your Wargaming folder where your World of Warships is installed. And it's simple as this. Pick the ones you want. So these are the panels I use. Shows you here a uh, preview of them. These panels are editable. I use Spotted Indicator. So this shows when you, your teammates are spotted. Dynamic Crosshair, Nomogram, Classic and Modern. And Badger, thank you for the five. What else is this? Oh, no, I do have quite a few mods installed, but we'll quickly. Session stats, which just shows you during the session, how you've done so far, five battles, two wins. It shows you all your earnings for the uh, session. Server population resources is the stuff on the top that shows you. Well, I need to hide this quickly. Um, server population resources and the next one below, Karma puts Karma on the front page. Wombat, what was. Oh god, Wombat. <laughs> Got me. Thank you, Wombat. Uh, what else have I got installed on here? Battle Expert. This is the thing in the center of the... Let's move this across because Twitch chat is covering it. This is the uh, angle indicator as it were. Battle Expert version 1. 3D radio position finding. If you've got RPF installed, that gives you this sort of cone rather than the little semicircle or quarter circle thing for radio location. Secondary armament tells you this, the uh, how much AA, you've, your AA and secondary range and how much of it's been damaged. Score timer, shot timer, fairly straightforward. Improved chat. And that might be about it. How are you, Wombat? You got me good there. Hey, Ducious, how are you? Yeah, that's it. But you can do other things like frame rate limited. I've got the matchmaking monitor installed. I don't really run it apart from in clan battles. But there's all sorts, you know, skins. You can, you can, there's a whole array of stuff in here you can use to edit the game, edit the game and make things look different as well. So a lot of the cosmetics. And it's as simple as that. And then it's just next. And then if you want to install it all next, I don't want to because we're running the game at the moment. Look at the settings I've got. This, okay, this is graphic. This is going to be based upon your own computer, but in terms of controls, this is my basic settings, but these are to terrain indicator off, collision, collision avoidance system off. I don't like it trying to turn my ship for me because sometimes I want to push up against a rock. Trust, how are you? Uh, alternate interface mode, full, to show all the ship's hit points and when you're not locked onto them, all the info. And then you definitely want, well, you don't necessarily definitely want, but I like display team lineups. Show both main battery and tech torpedo tubes load indicators rather than just what's loaded when you switch between them. Show the smoke screen boundaries, show smoke screen timer. I'm not fussed about scenarios and training or skipping video at launch. You can just click for that. Counter for damage upon your spotting, counter for potential damage, uh, language bar, I don't even know what it is. Show the time important, battle chat. But you can disable chat completely. If chat upsets you and the saltiness upsets you, disable it. There's my sentence.